the isometric under perturbation and also with oscillation. Red is right and blue is left. Am I centered while I'm doing that? And you got your rate of force development. And now I'm gonna go up and down with very fast and big movement, depending on the angle I want. If I work with a skier, I'll work in different angles. And then I'll really drive as much as I can and as fast as you can during. See, if you look at the numbers, because the first movement that I did, 843, that's the impulse, that's kilogram, but see, my max was 289.1 kilogram, put it this way, but my average is 284, and that's really good. It means my timing is very good on that. That's just one application, how the brain works. And Matt, what would you do to me to increase maybe the movement with some eye exercise? What kind of, uh, what kind of activation would you go? The biggest thing for me would be if you have a significant left-right difference, which we were talking about yeah. just before, yeah. uh, vergence is the type of eye movement you'd want to work on. So where we would use the uh, the beads, and we spoke about this last time, right? The Brock so strings? The Brock strings, yeah. I would do Brock strings, or even easier, if you don't have access to Brock strings, you have a partner do different fixation points, but always in vergence. So either divergence or convergence. If you improve vergence, you'll improve recruitment of how you do left versus right, and that would probably help stabilize and balance out how much recruitment you get from your right uh, side versus your left side.